everybody, I am really cute. Would you rather play with me? No thanks, no thanks, you're just a little ugly little frog. I would rather play with a Rubik's Cube, for some reason. Hello guys, welcome to another cubing channel, to another um, video on this cubing channel. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing with you guys three reasons why just that that happened just now just happened. Or in other words, why lots of people love to love cubing. It's a really big thing and um, lots of people have been joining the community ever since. And so let's move on to the first first reason and that is because cubing is competitive. It's competitive. You go you practice at home, you practice algorithms, you do look ahead, you you get better at the cube, and then you go to competitions. Because who doesn't? Well, me, of course, but seriously, that's one of the reasons. You go competitions, you go, you get better at the cube, you, you get quicker, and then you get pri you win prizes if there's no Philips Zem decks. You, um, you win competitions, or if you lose, you try to get better at your, um, at the, at the Rubik's Cube. And then you, yeah, and this leads to the second reason, and that second reason is to buy stuff. It's another reason of just buying stuff. So it's cool, like it's kind of makes like a look like a game. You buy the Rubik's brand, you play with it, you learn how to solve it, and then you suddenly see someone reviewing the Diane Zanchi. This is a really good cube. It's a really awesome. And suitable cube for lots of beginners and intermediate solvers. And then you suddenly, and then you suddenly want to buy that cube. You go to the to the market, or you go to the on the on your computer. You go on your computer. You buy a, that Dian and then when you buy it, you get really quick at it, and it pops a lot. And you you decide, oh no, I should buy torpedoes. So you buy torpedoes, and then. Oh no, it ran out of lubricant. So you buy lubricant and then you you keep on buying stuff. And then the Sanchez isn't good enough. You And then the Valk 3 came out. And then um, everyone buys the Valk 3 be because, um, instead of you. So you also want to buy one to make, to make it look like you're a good cuber. So you also buy one and then you play with it. And then suddenly it, it feels like gummy or something that you don't like. So you you put it back and then you choose another one. You choose you put lubricant inside, you put the right materials inside, you cut some you cut the edges off, you do lots of stuff with it and then you buy another one. So that's 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 what makes it kind of addicting. So um let's move on to the third reason and that is a quite a weird one. And that is actually that it's a hobby. Cubing is a hobby, right? Or a sport. Hashtag sport slash hobby. So, um, and cubing, unlike any other hobbies like um, gardening or something, it doesn't get messy. It's just one thing. Or if you want to learn the 2x2, two two, the 4x4, four four, and the 5x5, five five, then you have a bunch more stuff. And, um,. Yeah, that's another reason. It's not messy. It's so simplistic. You just turn it. Maybe it kind of gets a little messy when you start playing with lubricant, of course. But who does? Well, everyone uses lubricant. Just me. I do not use lubricant. That's why it's so crunchy. Listen to the sound of the day, Zanji. Without lubricant. I don't think it's that bad. Even without lubricant, so should we count lubricant as a messy thing? I don't think so. It's more like a, a liquid to make something better. Well, I guess it isn't that simplistic, but the the hobby itself is actually simplistic. You play with it, and then you learn. Well, you need a computer sometimes, but um, that doesn't count. Okay. 
It's just easy to do, the hobby. You do not need any talents or something. Well, you do need talent, but you will get the talent once you practice, so. It's not really talent, it's more like a practicing um, talent, hobby or something. So, that was, a vi that was my video, and yeah, you guys might have noticed, I got a new, like, um, I got a new bucket here for my pens. And look at this, the Nerdy Trio, or 4PO. So, that was my quadruple. And, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, and comment, and subscribe. I thought you wanted to say comment. Well, I'll eat that kill for you. You've been crazy enough. <sighs> Easy peasy. What? Why did you do that? Um, because you're too addicted to it. That's bad. Well, you need to poop that out now. Poop that out. Okay, I'll go to the, to the toilet first. Come here, you. Come back. Oh my gosh, you just pooped a rose cube out. Yeah. Nice, right? It's not nice. It's so smelly. <laughs> yuckus. It's just yuckus. It's just yucky and gummy. And wait, can we use your poop as lubricant? Oh, whoa. It's so soft. Good job, frog. You're my friend. You are my best friend. Yay! Finally, you went out of the Rubik's cube for lubricant. You are my lubricant. So that was it, guys. Bye, guys. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and um, don't forget to comment down below what uh, which reason fits you best, or if none of them fits you best, comment a reason down below. So that was my video, guys. See you next time on Tiny Nerd Videos.